Hi, I'm Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your alternator on your 3.7, 4.7 liter Dodge Jeep Chrysler and Mitsubishi engines. This particular one's a brand new 250 amp alternator. I am just recently did an upgrade where I put an auxiliary fan in and it's drawn quite a bit of power. And at idle, I'm going below 12 volts and I'm hoping to improve it with a brand new alternator putting out a little bit more power. All right, let's get started. All right, now depending on your model, the air silencer box may be slightly in the way to get to the back of the connector. So you may have to remove it. With my custom RAM area here, it is definitely in the way. So I'm gonna pull this out of the way. Now before we get any further, we want to disconnect the battery and start with your negative post, then your positive. At least disconnect your negative and secure it off to the side to make sure it does not touch ground anywhere. Now on my Jeep, I removed the battery and it is underneath the back seat where I also have a battery disconnect switch. So I'm just gonna go throw that. All right, with that disconnected, and come up here. All right, you got the one connector right back here. You press the locking tab and pull. And then you got your positive cable here from your battery. 13 millimeter. All right, now using a 15 millimeter socket or a serpentine belt tool, and in the clockwise rotation, you can lift the belt off the pulley. Now, depending on your model, I got this little bracket here that holds the air conditioning line, so the low pressure side. You may need to remove that out of the way just to get to this one bolt. Using a 15 millimeter deep socket, And then you got one 13 millimeter right here. Now you using a pry bar or a large screwdriver to get underneath here because this can come off a little hard. And pry the alternator up. All right, all right, we got the new alternator here. All right, now reinstall the three bolts. You got that longer 15 mil. The other one's a little bit shorter. And then you got this smaller 13 millimeter bolt that goes right up here. Starting with the 15 millimeters. Snug them all into place. And then you can go ahead and tighten them down. All right, now you can reinstall this battery cable. And then 
reconnect this connector on the back of the alternator. Okay, and now we're ready to put the serpentine belt back on. All right, now with the alternator all reconnected, serpentine belt back on, go ahead and hook your battery back up. If you took off both posts on the battery, hook up your positive first, then your negative. Okay, here you can see the voltage is somewhat low at idle. It's adequate. Now I'm going to force the uh, fan on. And as you can see, we're bouncing into the 11s. And that is just not adequate at all. If I add the air conditioning to it. And you can see we all the way down to 11.7, 11.6. Not good. All right, well, it didn't exactly turn out the way I was hoping for, but I did slightly suspect this was going to happen because, for one, I'm running an ATI super damper with a 25% underdrive pulley on the harmonic balancer down here. So everything's spinning 25% slower. So, you know, you're, right away you're, you're pulling down the RPM of that alternator, and it's only able to put out so much at idle. So, but I was hoping the higher amp alternator would do something. No doubt it will at, you know, above idle. You're going to see an increase because be able to put out more amps. And this would be a great alternator for your sound systems. Your, you got a winch on there or whatever accessory you're trying to run. All right, next thing I might try is putting a smaller diameter pulley on the alternator itself which will cause it to spin faster i want to thank you for watching and if you like that give me a thumbs up if you didn't hit that thumbs down twice and if you never subscribed to me before if you would hit that subscribe button right down there and a the little bell symbol right next to it I appreciate that all right we will see you on the next one